What's up, King Pookie Nation? This is your boy, King Pookie, coming in the house with another video of talking about the Bears and the Detroit Lions. Now, we haven't had football since February the 2nd. Um, man, it has been a crazy year off season for the Chicago Bears in the NFL season. Um, like, there's be no fans in the stands. Um, yeah, we there's a lot of hiccups and bubbles. You know, it's like uh, do our players gonna wear face shields and that stuff? And some of the players were disagreeing that they didn't want to wear the face shields. And but it's been one crazy um, football off season, but we made it. Um, you know that. Um, so we had in game one it, uh, against the Detroit. Detroit Lions, um, you know, we wanted to see, you know, how Mitch just did, you know, on the comp the Nick Foles and um, Mr. Bisky competition, and 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 everybody seems seems like like Mitch was getting was doing the best um, job, you know, because his job was on the line. Because Nick Falls was on his tails, you know, and uh, I there was no cl cut close winner, so I don't know why Matt Nagy decided to go for Mitch. I mean, they paid all that money for a backup quarterback and Nick Falls, and they're not gonna start him. So that means all that money that they spent, he's gonna be sitting on the sidelines on a clipboard and um. But um yeah so the score of the Bears and Lions game was twenty seven to twenty three and I'm talking to you it was a relief man I thought they were gonna lose this game man man I mean boy it looked like it the way Mitch was playing oh God he was horrible in the first three quarters of the of the game you know. Um, it looked like the 2019, um, old Mitch Trubisky, like the old one, and you heard the, you know, Bears fans calling that, um, they wanted Nick Foles should have started the play, and somehow, I don't know why, wow, Mitch, um, pulled it off, but, um, in the fourth quarter, he, like, turned it around, and magically, um, we came back close and I think and then then we and then like um we he scored I think two touch three touchdowns in the third quarter in the fourth quarter I think it is but um yeah this is it, it was an awful game you know um I would, Bears fans were not very happy with Mitch Trubisky he was the same old Mitch Trubisky um you know um, the Bears scored three points in the first quarter. Detroit scored three in the first quarter. In the second quarter, the Lions scored ten. The Bears scored was only three stone. Um, and the third quarter was um, the Bears scored three, and the Lions scored t was ten. In the fourth quarter, fourth quarter, but um, yeah, it's like M Mitch Trubisky was so awful on those three quarters, you know. Um, you know we didn't, we don't want a uh, one quarter quarterback, you know. We want a four quarters quarterback, you know, and you know. After the game, you know, we heard it, you know, from the Mitch Trubisky fans. They all glowed and everything. And, um, but it's the still same old Mitch. It was a Mazza, um, one old clucker. And then, and then he turned into a Mazda, Mazda, um, Mitch, Maserati Mitch, you know. But, um, he didn't put some gas in did in, in the fourth quarter in his tank and somehow he pulled off the, the win but um this is his completions that he had in the game he had 20 complete 20 
Uh, he had 36 attempts, 292 yards, and then three touchdowns. In rushing, he he had um he had three carries, 64 yards, 8.7 average, and zero road touchdowns. And Jimmy Graham, you know, everybody put him down that like he was not he was an awful move that Brian Pace made, but um. Yeah, so um, I know that he missed like a couple plays, you know, passes from Mitch, um, but he turned it around at the end. He scored a touchdown. I thought he scored two touchdowns, but I guess they he didn't make the the over the field goal. I mean, the to score the touchdown, but um, he his uh, he had um, in receiving he had three. And yards he had 25, he had one touchdown, and then uh, Wims was, and then he had one reception, um, yards one and, and one touchdown. But um, yeah, man, those two two guys, man, pulled it off, you know. Um, and Anthony Miller, man, he did. A, he was spectacular. I mean, we thought it was gonna be A. Rub, and A. Rub had some good, you know. Catches and that stuff in there, but it was a, a um, Anthony Miller man that sold the show man. He was like, so um, but um, yeah, man. This like they in the first three quarters they let the Detroit Lions run all over us, you know. And then I, you know, Adrian Peterson, what well, he's a thorn and I understand what Ryan Pace didn't, you know, take him pick him up. Um, he's a thorn for the Chicago Bears when he was in, with the Vikings and he was running all over this O-line, man, so. But this is what, um, Matt, Matt Stafford's, um, he had 24, uh, cup, 24, um, completions, 42 attempts, 297 yards and one touchdown and then in rushing he had five carries 223 yards average of 4.6 and there um two um the rookie Darren Swift um had three carries eight yards an average of 2.7 and one touchdown. And Hekas, I think it is Hekasan or Hekasan. I don't know how to say it. But he had five receivings, 56 yards, and one touchdown. But that guy, on Swift, man, he could have won the game for the Lions if he didn't catch that ball at the very, very end. But thank God, man, they, they you know, they. That he did not catch him, but he's just a rookie. He probably is gonna make fix that mistake, but it was like a weird game, you know. Um, I know one of the Detroit Lions man. He did a no, 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 no. You are not supposed to put. He put his head down or something like that, and he actually. I don't know if he was it accidentally, but he hit the referee with his crown of his helmet like this, and I don't know. If it was intentionally or he mistake a mistake, but it cost him a big time, and he was kicked out of the game. So, but um, yeah, you with these refs you can't mess around with these refs because you know they don't they're not um, you know um, so, but um, yeah, we're gonna be playing the Giants in this game too. Now, if we better play better um i don't know i'm i hope it's nick falls in game two but it's probably going to be mitch as you know like mitch um unless if something bad bad happens you know they'll put nick falls if mitch doesn't do great at all and the second in the second game um but um with yesterday's game i don't think it's going to be a problem but we just got to uh, watch out for Sankam Barkley. He'll run all over us. Um, but yeah, we should beat the Giants very easily. That is a terrible team with 
Um, Danny Dimes, man, um, he's still awful. He's not a good quarterback. Um, we should win this game, man. Uh, if we if, if we lose to the Giants, man, this is gonna be a disgrace. I mean, I mean, we should win these couple game. I mean, this game, um, to game to after we play the Falcons, it's gonna get hard because we're gonna play the Saints and the um and the Rams back to back. So that we gotta get better, man. But um, yeah, Mitch pull it out of his you know, out of his hat, you know, that's victory. But uh, these Bears fans, these Mitch Trubisky fans, they were gloating and everything. I think that, that he's a man that, that, but we face it, we, he's still the same old Mitch, man. He was only good in the first three quarters, and then at the end he shows up, you know. He finally shows up. I mean, he just like, like, he ran out of gas in those three quarters, and then in the fourth quarter, he, we, Matt Nagy gave him some gas or something like that. But I don't know, and then I heard that there was, that Khalil Mack had made a speech, um, so they boosted it. The, the defense, because the defense was really awful, man. I mean, um, they woke up, but they did the help. They did help us in the fourth quarter, especially with Kyle Fuller. And when he did got that interception, the man turned everything around. This game reminded me of the game of the Arizona game. Who the Lions are the team that we thought they were, you know, um, and we, we didn't we didn't let them we didn't let them go, get off the hook, you know. The Detroit Lions and the same old Matt Patricia. They, they had the games in their hand, and they blew it, man. I mean, they they had the game, they were gonna win, and then they and then they just gave it up, you know. Um, that's typical of Lions, you know. But this is a good Detroit Lions team, you know, with good players in it. But this, you know, the play calling of uh, Matt Patricia, man, he's got to do you know better for the Detroit Lions, but. Uh, um, yeah, we got some, they got good players on that side, you know, so, yeah, but it's not gonna get easy for the Detroit Lions because they gotta be playing in the Packers in game two, but, yeah, so, I hope lead the, the Bears will beat the Giants in game two, but that's my recap of the Chicago Bears and Detroit Lions in game one, and hopefully, We'll be talking about a Bears victory against the Detroit Lions, and we'll be two and zero. Oh, you know, two two wins and zero losses. So this is King Pookie, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bear down, Chicago Bears fans.